Are you tired of being a broke student studying in Paldea? Do you need some funds to train your Pokemon for terror raids or competitive battling? Maybe you want to step up your drip game. Interested? Keep watching and I'll show you how to make bank so you don't have to worry about money ever again. Money isn't everything in the world of Pokemon, but it can get you a lot of things to make your life a lot easier. It'd be useful to have a huge stockpile of Pokeballs to catch Pokemon with, or not have to do a grocery run for all the sandwiches you're making. With a lot of money, you can even save time from training your Pokemon with bottle caps and vitamins. Whether you're out on your treasure hunt or doing the end game grind, I'll be explaining two ways you can make some good, easy money in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. The first method I'm going to show you can be done at any point in the game. At first, people thought this was a bug, but it's actually a feature. Or maybe it still is a bug. I'm not sure anymore, but it's also fairly simple to do. The first thing I want you to do is turn off autosave. Then head over to Asado Desert. The item we want to look for is a star piece. Look around the desert for sparkling shimmers on the ground. Before you pick up the item, save the game first. Pick up the item to see what it is. If it's not a star piece, look around for another sparkling shimmer on the ground. Keep repeating until you find a star piece. When you do find a star piece on the ground, check if you can place a picnic on that spot. If you can, close the game and load back in. You should load back into a save where that star piece is still on the ground. Next, make sure you have one Pokemon in your party and then start up a picnic. As long as the Sparkling Shimmer is within the vicinity of the picnic, you'll be able to find that item inside the basket. All you have to do now is stand there and check the basket to grab some star pieces. You can even step away and do other things in real life, like those chores you've been putting off. Since the basket can only hold 10 things at a time, make sure to check back every now and then. When you're done, sell all the star pieces you farm for that sweet, sweet cash. If you want, you can even apply this method to farm up some other items in the game such as berries, stones, and crafting materials. I think this is a great way to make some cash while you're playing through the story or getting into the end game. Plus, if you stay till the end of the video, I'll give you a tip that can make life a whole lot easier. But before I get to that, there is a better way to make money though, but it's going to take a lot more prep work. The next gig that will make you a lot of money is going to be farming the Academy Ace Tournament. If you're wondering how to unlock the tournament, you'll need to complete the post-game story chapter and beat the Academy Ace Tournament. You'll also need some other things too. First, you'll want to get the Amulet Coin. If you haven't already, this League official and Medali will give you the Amulet Coin after you have defeated 5 trainers in West Province Area 3. Next, you'll need a strong Pokemon to use for the tournament. There are a few options out there to choose from, but my favorite Pokemon to use for this is the embodiment of Envy within a pair of beads. Chi Yu. If you like the fish too, hit that like button. If you're not sure where to get this cute fish, you'll need to take some history classes to unlock a quest. Next, locate all the stakes in the northeast quadrant of the map. Once you've located all the stakes, you'll be able to catch Chi Yu at its shrine. The next thing you'll need to do is train Chi Yu. If you know about EV training, Chi Yu needs 252 EVs in HP, 252 EVs in Special Attack, and the remainder in Defense. If you have no idea what I just said, hit subscribe if you want to see me explain that nonsense. There are two ways you can go about this. The first and easy way is if you have some money. If you're going to use some money, head to a Chansey Supply Shop. You'll need at least 550,000 Poké Dollars to buy 26 HP ups, 26 bottles of calcium, one bottle of iron, and one modest mint, if your Chi Yu's nature isn't modest. Once you've stocked up on vitamins, feed them to Chi Yu, and that's it. If you don't have the money, here's another way you can train Chi Yu. If your Chi Yu doesn't have a modest nature, head over to a Chansey supply shop and buy a modest mint. Give the mint to your Chi Yu to change its nature to modest. Next. Head over to a Deli Bird Presents shop and buy a Power Weight, a Power Lens, and a Power Belt. Now you'll need to train Chi Yu's stats. To train its HP stat, give it the Power Weight and head over to Lost Platos to knock out 28 Lechonk. Then, to train its Special Attack stat, give it the Power Lens, 
and head over to South Province Area 4 to knock out 28 Psyduck. Then for its defense stat, give it the Power Belt and head over to South Province Area 1 to knock out 1 Tarantula. This method of training does take longer, but either training method will end up with the same results. Once you're done with the training, pull up the main menu and go to Boxes. Place the cursor over your Chiyu and press the plus button to judge its stats. You want to have all the stats to be at best or hyper trained, except for the attack stat. For your freshly caught Chiyu, count how many stats are not at its best, excluding the attack stat. Then head over to Delibird Presence and buy however many bottle caps you need. After that, fly over to Montenevera and walk north to this fella here for some hyper training. Give him some bottle caps to hyper train your Chiyu stats. The last thing we'll need to do for Chiyu is to train it to level 100. Give it the amulet coin and make sure it has Dark Pulse. If your Chiyu doesn't have Dark Pulse, check its summary and tab over to move and stats. Then press A and remember moves to teach it Dark Pulse. Make sure Dark Pulse is at the first move slot. You can rearrange moves by pressing Y. Now your Chiyu is ready for some action. Once you've completed all of that, you're just about ready to farm the Academy Ace Tournament. Make sure you only have Chi Yu in your party. All you have to do now is talk to this person here, spam the A button, and watch as this cute fish plows through everything in its path to make you money. Now what if you don't want to sit there and press A all day for the tournament or picnic basket? My free solution for you is to find a younger relative like a sibling or a cousin and let them press A for you. Don't have one of those? Well the best thing to use is going to be a turbo controller. I've been using the HoriPad wire controller for its turbo button. But any quality controller that has a turbo button should work fine too. As a disclaimer, I'm not sponsored by Hori or anybody, but I personally recommend the HoriPad wired controller or the split pad if you're looking for a turbo controller. If you have a turbo controller, all you have to do is set the turbo button to A and let it farm the tournament or check the basket for you. If you're farming the tournament, you can easily make millions over a few hours. Just watch out for that money cap of just under 10 million. For safety reasons, I don't recommend you leave your switch set to farm for you for extended periods of time unattended. The switch does get hot over time and has the potential risk of damaging the battery and causing a fire. So stay safe out there friends. That just about wraps up the video. If you liked the video, hit that like button. Comment on what you're going to buy with all that money you're about to make. And lastly, hit subscribe for more videos from me. Thanks for watching.